Hey everyone, welcome back. In this PyTest tutorial, we are going to learn how you can parameterize fixtures and test functions. So before we get into the actual implementation, if you want to read the details, you can simply come to PyTest documentation and here just search for the parameterizing fixtures. So what exactly the parameterizing of fixtures is and how it helps us in the actual testing or the test automation. So basically what parameterizing does is it it allows us to define the multiple sets of arguments and then those arguments can be taken iteratively and executed so I'll explain that in a moment but but say for example in the testing scenario you have a login page right now login page accepts valid username and password and then the login will be successful but login scenario to test the login scenario there might be multiple possibilities so with the valid login with the valid username username and password it should log in with the valid username invalid password it should give error message with invalid username and invalid password it should give some separate error message that might be one of the functionality so instead of writing the test again and again and passing these valid username and password in different steps of the test cases parameterization is highly efficient and useful so within PyTest, we will understand what all parameterization options are available so that we can use them whenever required. And I'll also explain when we go to the framework section how you can use this parameterization to pass these arguments from the command line and run your test cases in different browsers without changing the script or the code for your test all right so parameterization is available at several steps so for the first option is at the fixture level we can parameterize the fixtures at using the marker so pytest.mark.parameterize we can use the markers to parameterize so in this tutorial i'll cover fixture and marker and then we have this pytest generate tests which allows us to parameterize the uh, custom parameterization basically so custom parameterization can be achieved with this generate test and this will help us to achieve the execution of our script in selenium with python in using different browsers so from the command line we can just pass the argument um, as firefox if we want to run the test case on firefox as a chrome if we want to run it on the chrome but before going into that detail we first need to understand parameter and different options available in PyTest. So the first one is the fixture. So let's quickly understand how we can achieve that. Okay. So say for example, let me copy this particular code. All right. And I will create a new file. I'll say test param demo. All right. Paste everything here. So now if say for example, there is a fixture in this particular file. All right. So I'll say demo fixture and Say for example, I want to parameterize this particular fixture. Okay. And how the parameterization can be done. So to mark this method as a fixture, I'll simply say pi test dot fixture and at the fixture level what we have to do is we just have to pass the argument params right and then we simply pass the parameters within it right so say for example i want to pass two different parameters a comma b all right so the strings here so a and b all right okay now in this fixture what we want to do is say for example within this fixture in order to access these parameters we need to use the object request right so that is important so we need to pass the object request into this demo fixture and say for example these parameters I just want to print okay so as of now I'll just show you that we are able to use these parameters so in order to access these parameters we'll simply say request dot param all right just param so now when we'll call this fixture because we have passed two parameters here in this particular fixture and if I call this demo fixture in this particular login test method then this login the first time the execution will happen first parameter a will be used it will print the a then login successful then again it will print b and then login successful all right so let me comment these other tests here and just try to run this particular one so let me go to the command prompt so here let me copy the path and i'll say pi test so this file is in learn pi test 
param demo and let me pass the verbose hyphen v hyphen s and run this particular file all right so let's see the output you will see that it has printed a first then login successful and then it has executed the iteration again with the b or the second parameter and the login successful right so you can see that if i want to execute this particular test couple of times i can simply parameterize it with the number of times say for example in the username and password scenario i told you that if you want to parameterize the username and password so you can specify the parameters in the fixture and use that fixture to rerun your same test again the number of times that you have the parameters within your fixture okay so that's the advantage rather than having this code different times so say for example i want to have this test login being tested with different valid and invalid login combinations then i will keep duplicating this code in this particular file which is not the ideal scenario so better way is to use the parameters so first one is to use the parameters in the fixture now the actual usage of these parameters in the fixtures will get into the will learn into the framework section when we get into the framework section but basics you need to understand you need to explore that what all options and features are available at what level into the pytest all right now the second option was to parameterize at the using the marker right so i can use the marker so instead of this fixture okay so say for example i can at the method level it itself i can say pytest.mark.parameterize right so i can say pytest.mark and dot parameterize and within this after i mark this or i annotate this or i decorate this basically then what i have to do is i have to simply pass the parameters within this right so say for example i want to add two numbers okay so i'll say a okay and then comma b and then say for example i want to verify whether the final result of this addition or subtraction is matching okay and then comma separated i can specify so there will be the i can specify the tuple right so if you haven't watched the python series go through watch it because this will help you a lot to understand what i'm doing here at the moment so within this tuple i can specify the combination of the parameters right or the arguments that will be actually using so say for example i want to verify 2 plus 6 is equal to 8 and then second set so i can pass another tuple and i can say 5 comma 8 is say for example 15 right and i can pass any number of so 5 comma 10 is 15 all right so that's how i can use this mark dot parameterize to parameterize this particular test right now within this test how can i use these parameters so it's very very simple so what what i have to do is i have to simply call these arguments there okay so a comma b and then final in this particular method right so here let me change it to test add okay and let's then after this print or just remove the print and let me assert okay so i want to assert whether a plus b is equal to final all right so what's happening here is when i use this marker to parameterize this particular test method i am passing the parameters right so the uh, the parameters a b and final and the values that need to be passed into this particular test add method when this method is being called right so what will happen is in the first run this set of data will be picked up it will be you know verified so it's basically sort of a looping that internally happens so what it does is it picks the first first set of parameters or the arguments checks whether the test has been successful then again loops to the second one checks and then again loops to the third right so depending on how many parameters you pass in this particular parameterized marker it will iterate that many times okay so let me go ahead and run this and see the result so you can see that it has ran it three times so the first test has been passed second one has failed right because 5 plus 8 is not equal to 15 so it has failed and 5 plus 10 is 15 and third one has passed right but closely if you look we have just one test method and there were not three methods so that's the beauty of parameterization that depending on the number of parameters that you pass it will iterate that many time and will give you result okay 
So these are the two options at the moment that I'm going to cover in this particular tutorial to parameterize the fixtures and test function. So you can use the parameterization at the fixture level or use the marker to parameterize and parameterization will help you to iterate the test function the number of times there are the parameters. Okay, so you can think of the real scenarios and try to implement more examples around the parameterization the examples that I have covered along with that and explore these two cases in more detail in the next tutorial I'll cover how you can use this PyTest test generate test right to basically create the own parameterization scheme and how we can use it to parameterize and launch our test cases on different browsers so that that's what we'll learn we'll learn the core concept first and then in the selenium with python in the framework series framework tutorial i'll cover the actual implementation when the browser will be launched based on the argument that you'll pass say for example you pass the chrome then the chrome browser will, will get get launched if you pass the argument firefox in the command line firefox will get launched and the test cases will start executing on the firefox browser so that's what the parameterization helps us to achieve in the real scenario in Selenium automation. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.